What's up guys, Freelancer Roamer 66 here. I am back at my favorite bass fishing spot today. It's a beautiful spring day. I think it's around upper 50s, it's been sunny all day. It's around, it's like 2 p.m. right now, so I'm getting here a little early, but I really just wanted to claim my spot. And hey, there might be fish, you know, even in the early afternoon, but I'm really gonna try to fish the evening run. So in my last video, you may have, saw, you, if you've seen my last video, you saw me fishing about waist deep in waders on the one side of the creek. And that's my preferred method for this spot. However, my waiter sprung a leak, so today I'm going to be fishing on the other side of the creek. Now, that really shouldn't affect the bite too much. I just choose the other side because there's usually less people and it's a shorter hike. But, you know, it's really fishing the same hole and it shouldn't affect too much. But with that being said, fishing on the shore enables me to bring a catfish rod. So I did come with some catfish gear. Now, it is extremely early to target these fish in this area. However, you never know. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a rod in and I might be able to hook up with an early riser. So I'm going to get all my stuff together, get ready for this longer hike, and I'm stoked to get down there. Let's go get some fish today. All right, guys, so I made it down to this spot. I'm super stoked to be here. I'm the only one on the water right now. I talked to a guy going in who was touting steelhead, and he said he hooked up on a couple of bass. So that means they're super active today. I'm super excited about that. The hike was pretty rough. Um, I should have wore waders, but, you know, they were broke. I should have at least wore higher boots. I did fall in the water, got a little wet. But it, it's a warmer day, and, hey, this spot is freaking beautiful. Look at these views here. That's Lake Erie out there. Beautiful Great Lake Erie. And way in the distance, you might not be able to see it on the GoPro, but that's the city of Buffalo skyline. Super cool. This spot looks awesome. I'm super pumped for today. I got a good feeling. Let's get it going. All right, so I got my cat rod right there. Just, you know, your king cat from Cabela's. Nothing too fancy, but it absolutely gets the job done. And in here, I have the good catfish bait. We got some frozen shiners. These are still rock solid. That's okay because I wasn't really planning on throwing that right out to the evening anyway. So I'm going to place them right on one of these rocks. Let them stew up. Get real stinky for those fish. So yeah, for the beginning of the day, I'm going to start just for the bass. About to get my line in the water for a little bit. Then probably eat some lunch and uh, see what we got going on. Again, beautiful area. Got the whole shoreline to myself. So I'm going to experiment a little bit. There we go, guys. Fish number one. Let's go. All right, get this hook out of this guy. Got him pretty good. That's one benefit to uh, fishing off the shore here is I don't have to worry about trying to land it in the water, so it really does lower the risk of losing a fish. This guy's pretty small. Hey, good first fish on the day. I've only been here for like 20 minutes fishing wise hey, and still early. I'm gonna be here till sundown. So hey, this should be a good day. Awesome, let's go. Nice looking little fish. Let's send this guy on his way. Cool looking fish. There you go. See ya. Too bad. Whoops, sorry buddy. I got him good too. Hey, he's pretty good. About time. Dude, that's the second time I casted like along the trench. That's how I hooked one the first time too. All right, number two on the day. Oh yes, there we go. Got that good hook set. All right, number three. It's kind of slow for a little bit. Some guys are pulling them up. Hopefully he'll pick back up. Yeah, number three. Here we go, number four.
There we go, number four. Not too bad. All the same size, really pretty small, but fish is a fish. See ya. There we go. All right, number five, literally looks the exact same as the last fish, but hey, pretty nice. Not too bad, they're picking up a little bit. I went through at least two hours like in anything. Seems like they're coming to shore again, so good stuff. Is it in your way? Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna grab it after this cast. Dude, on that stop again. Let's go. Whoa! All right, number six, I think, five or six. Yeah, ooh, he snapped the line. All right, nice little fight from this guy. Don't have to take the hook out. You do that for me. There we go. Oh, that one's nice. This one's nice. Woo! Look at that, dude. Hell yeah. That one's nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Woo! Biggest one of the day so far. Lucky number seven. Still not huge, but hey, definitely nice. Let's go. Number eight, let's go. All right, this is about the back to the average size of a day, but hey, fish is a fish and I am not going to complain. Number eight. It's a record for this season for me. Real slow. There we go. Nine. Number nine. These fish have a lot of energy because I'm not really fighting them for all that long, but it's better for me, better for the fish, really.
dude, that's it. There we go, number nine. Definitely the average size of the day. These all, these fish all look exactly the same. Still a cool fish. Nice fight. All right, number nine, back in. Going like a rocket. I missed the entire fight and everything, but number 10 on the day. We got a storm of brewing too. This one's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty much the average size, but a little bit bigger. All right, I did it. I said I was gonna hit double digits in the intro, and here we are. Only lost one today. Not too bad. He might. Why do you have it yet? It's like two, three minutes, and all of a sudden it's like boom. It's still every morning for me. They hit me pretty hard. There we go. Number 11. This one's lazy. Tiny. Whoa! Got him. Snapped it again. Dude, I used to always, I love the, um, I'll tell you in a second. Number 11, let's go. Storm's coming in, but we're still catching fish. Snap. Yep, fish. Let's go. Come on, big guy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We almost had a double hookup. Oh! He's gone. What's up guys? So I went out there and I had a super good day. It was a really great run. Um, at first it started off pretty slow though. When I first got there, I got that one. And then it was almost a four hour period until I got another fish. I was getting pretty discouraged. I was changing up baits, nothing was really working. So I ended up going back to my original go-to bait for that spot and it worked out, provided me with 11 fish within pretty much an hour. Like all, all the video, all the fish in that video pretty much came within an hour, it was pretty cool. It was fun. I've been back a couple times since, and I've done even better on some of the days. Those videos will be soon to come. Yeah, so I'm probably going to head back to the bass hole at least a couple more times, because I was talking to some guys down there, and they said they do run pretty thick through May. But, like, I kind of got my fill for bass for now, because I could catch bass pretty much all summer, almost anywhere I go. Channel catfish, however, they only run for about a month in a couple specific creeks in this area. And I've always loved channel cats. I've loved catfish in general, ever since, like, River Monsters. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen those episodes. And since then, I've been obsessed. So I'm really going to hit those guys hard. Um, but it's been a pretty good bass season. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll go back down there a couple times. And uh, my next video is going to be really cool. And it starts off with me hiking through a waterfall-filled gully, doing some crazy climbs up some very steep rocks with some ropes. Starts off like that, and then it ends with me hitting a personal best fishing-wise under some pretty crazy conditions. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you guys. And hey, if you like my videos and are looking forward to more, please subscribe. And that would be greatly appreciated, and I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. Let me know how you like it, and uh, let's keep hooking up with fish.